Diphenylamine is an organic compound with the formula 2 and H. The compound is a derivative of aniline, consisting of an amine bound to two phenyl groups. The compound is a colorless solid, but commercial samples are often yellow due to oxidized impurities. Diphenylamine dissolves well in many common organic solvents, and is moderately soluble in water. It is used mainly for its antioxidant properties, preparation and reactivity. Diphenylamine is manufactured by the thermal demination of aniline over oxide catalysts. 2C6H5NH22NH plus NH3 It is a weak base, with a Kb of 10-14. With strong acids, it forms salts. For example, treatment with sulfuric acid gives the bisulfate plus minus as a white to yellowish powder with M. P. 123 to 125 degrees Celsius. Diphenylamine undergoes various cyclization reactions. With sulfur, it gives phenethiazine, a precursor to pharmaceuticals, to an H plus 2SS2 and H plus H2S with iodine. It undergoes dehydrogenation to give carbazole, with release of hydrogen iodide, to an H plus I2 to an H plus 2 high arylation with iodobenzene gives triphenylamine. Applications Antioxidant diphenylamine is used as a pre or post Harvest scald inhibitor for apples applied as an indoor drench treatment. Its anti scald activity is the result of its antioxidant properties, which protect the apple skin from the oxidation products of alpha pharnacine during storage. Scald is physical injury that manifests in brown spots after fruit is removed from cold storage. Alkylated diphenylamines function as antioxidants in lubricants, approved for use in machines, in which contact with food is not ruled out. Diphenylamine derivatives, such as ring alkylated derivatives of diphenylamine are used as antiosonants in the manufacture of rubber products, reflecting the antioxidant nature of aniline derivatives. Other uses Diphenylamine derivatives are used as fungicide. Diphenylamine is the most common stabilizer used in smokeless powder that prevents buildup of deteriorating material. Diphenylamine finds use as a test for nitrates. Diphenylamine is known to be used to make phenethiocene based drugs, e.g., promazine and diethazine, dimetacrine, bergecrine, dicarfen, and amp, linopyridine. Also, toxicity. In animal experiments, diphenylamine was rapidly and completely absorbed after ingestion by mouth. It underwent metabolism to sulfonyl and glucuronyl conjugates and was rapidly excreted mainly via urine. Acute oral and dermal toxicity were low. Diphenylamine can cause severe irritation to the eyes. It was not a skin irritant, and it has not been technically feasible to test acute toxicity study by inhalation. Diphenylamine targets the red blood cell system and can cause abnormal erythropoiesis in the spleen, and thus congestion of the spleen, and hemosiderosis. Changes in liver and kidneys were found upon longer exposure. At clear toxic doses of parent animals reproductive effects were limited to reduced implantation sites in F1 females associated with reduced rat litter size, implicating a possible mutagenic heterogenic effect. No effect on development could be attributed. The U.S. CDC's NIOSH lists the following symptoms of poisoning, irritation eyes, skin, mucous membrane, eczema, tachycardia, hypertension, cough, sneezing, methemoglobinemia, increased blood pressure and heart rate, proteinuria, hematuria, bladder injury, in animals, teratogenic effects. The short-term NOAL of 9.6 to 10 mg per kilogram 
BW per day was derived from 90-day rat, 90-day dog and 1-year dog studies and the long-term NOAL was 7.5 mg per kilogram BW per day. The acceptable daily intake of diphenylamine was 0.075 mg per kilogram BW per day based on the 2-year rat study. Applying a safety factor of 100, the acceptable operator exposure level was 0.1 mg per kilogram BW per day. In a study of diphenylamine metabolism in harvested and dipped apples at different time intervals it was observed that radio-labeled residues of diphenylamine penetrate from the surface into the pulp, which after 40 weeks contained 32% of the residue. Diphenylamine was always the major residue, but three metabolites were found in good amounts in the apple samples, whose identification experts considered in sufficient, cited in there is a data gap on presence of formation of nitrosamines in apple metabolism during processing. The carcinogen 4-amino biphenyl can accompany diphenylamine as an impurity. Diphenylamine has low acute and short-term toxicity to birds, but is very toxic to aquatic organisms. Risk to biological methods of sewage treatment was assessed as low. Environmental fate, diphenylamine is considered practically insoluble according to the 2014 MSDS. It exhibits very low persistence in direct water photolysis experiments in the laboratory and is moderately volatile. Indirect photooxidation in the atmosphere through reaction with hydroxyl radicals was estimated. Despite limited data, the information was sufficient for the EC to characterize the environment environmental risk is negligible, because the intended use of diphenylamine was indoors. Residues in fruit and alternatives. If 744 apples tested, USDA found 82.7% of them to have diphenylamine residue between 0.005 to 4.3 ppm below the U. SEPA's tolerance level of 10 ppm. A number of alternatives to the use of diphenylamine exist for the control of scald of apples. Regulation. Europe The EC set maximum residue levels for diphenylamine in 2005. No 396-2005. Diphenylamine was one of 84 substances of a European Commission review program covered by a regulation from 2002 requiring the European Food Safety Authority upon EC request to organize a peer review of the initial evaluation, i.e. a draft risk assessment, and to provide the EC within six months with a conclusion. The assessment received by the EFSA in 2007 started the peer review in October 2007 by dispatching it for consultation of the EC member states and the applicants. The two manufacturers, Sirex agree S. A. Italian subsidiary of United Phosphorus Limited and Pace International LLC. As a result of the peer review, mostly lacking data about risk to consumers, and particularly the levels and toxicity of unidentified metabolites of the substance, the possible formation of nitrosamines during storage of the active substance and during processing of treated apples, and the lack of data on the potential breakdown product of diphenylamine residues in processed commodities. The EC decided on 30 November 2009 to withdraw authorizations for plant protection products containing diphenylamine. The European Diphenylamine Task Force resubmitted an application to the EC with more data, and an additional report was received by the EFSA on 3 December 2010. EFSA concluded the risk assessment did not eliminate the concerns on 5 December 2011, published this opinion in 2012 and it became law in 2013. Who, our joint committee, the committee established an acceptable daily intake of 0.02 mg per kilogram per day at a meeting on pesticide residues. 
U.S. EPA, after passage of the Food Quality Protection Act of 1996, the U.S. EPA had established a tolerance level for apples at 10 ppm, and for meat and milk at 0 ppm. The tentative LOAL was 10 mg per kilogram per day. In 1997 EPA approved the re-registration of diphenylamine, and determined that recommended tolerances met the safety standards standards under FQPA and that adequate data indicate that tolerances for residues in milk and meat could be increased from 0.0 ppm and established as separate tolerances set at 0.01 ppm. EPA has not reviewed diphenylamine since then.